discouragement a tireless satanic weapon against kingdom service i bless all my sons and daughters that share the word of god to us today and even if i don't preach i think you have been blessed maybe you don't even have space to write what i want to teach again they were just feeding me feeding me feeding me with god's word act 20 32 says and of the word of god which is able to build you and to give you an inheritance among the saints so one of the things the word of god does first is to build you because inheritance are only given to belt men are we together they won't just sit on any kind of structure so that's why i like it when we sit under the word of god yes prayers sanctify our spirit prayers fertilizes our heart preparing us for the word but only the word of god changes men are we together why the bible says that the truth you know shall set you free. are we following so discouragement a tireless satanic weapon against kingdom service galatians 6 and verse 7 to 8 the bible says be not weary in well doing for as much as you know that if you don't faith in due time you will get your reward so one of the things that we experience in our service to God is weariness. We are at a point where we are tired, we are discouraged. The devil uses that as a weapon to make us forfeit our service to God. Are we following? So what is discouragement? Discouragement is simply the absence of courage. Where you don't see a, a reason to be alive again. Most of the times when people are discouraged, they say things they don't mean. Have you seen discouraged people that say, Oh Lord, I wish I die. That's why you must be careful what you say when you are discouraged. Else it can be used against you. Are we following? I've seen ladies who have seen different kind of marital crisis here and there. And say, I am not ready for anything called marriage. Pack it one corner. Now they are 56. Be careful what you say when you are down in spirit. Are we following? Are we together? Discouragement. It's a tireless weapon of the devil. Very quickly, by bleak are examples of the effect of discouragement. Please make sure you are writing. By bleak are examples of the effect of discouragement. Number one, Sarah. Genesis chapter 18, verse 12 to 15. For 75 years, she had no child. And then the miracle was coming to her direction. An angel said, by the time of life, you will bear a son. The Bible said and Sarah laughed. Discouragement can make you doubt prophecy. Discouragement can make you laugh at the word of God. And make it look like it cannot perform what it says. Are we following? She had seen her age. She knew how long she has waste, waited on God. And then you are telling me by the time of life. I'll be born with a child. Just like I can look at you and say if you have an F between now and Wednesday it has disappeared by the time of life I, I can look at you and your family is in financial crisis and I'm saying if you believe 3pm tomorrow a miracle helper will come and change your family's financial story you know discouragement can you don't know I'm prophesying already anyway you know discouragement can make you doubt God this is God appearing himself saying by this time of life the Bible says that she what? She laughed. Are we following? Number two, Zechariah, Luke chapter 1, verse 18 to 20. Discouragement can make you see things from the natural point of view. He had waited for a child with his wife Elizabeth. And there where he was performing his priestly function and activity, the angel of God appeared to him and said, your wife will conceive of a child. The Bible says, and Zechariah doubted seeing the weakness of his body discouragement can make you see things from the natural what you begin to see are purely impossibilities are we following number three John the Baptist Luke chapter 7 verse 19 to 23 Luke 7 19 to 23 discouragement brings offense it brings it makes you doubt the integrity of what you once believed this was the same John that pointed Jesus to the word. He said to the word, we didn't know. He said, behold the lamp of God who taketh away the sins of the world. And then he was in prison and Jesus ran away. John said, wow, no, no, no. Saviors don't behave like this. 
he called his disciples he said come please go and meet that man he didn't even call him Jesus again and ask him if he's the one to come or we should anticipate another discouragement can bring what offense and make you doubt what you first believed what you pointed to others as real because of what discouragement See, it's not working leave it never you nullify God's word because of experiences what did I say again never you nullify God's word because of what your experiences his word is real are we following number four Gideon Judges chapter 6 verse 12 to 15 where you are discouraged downcasted and in the lowly valleys of fires deep waters the shadows of death it doesn't mean you have lost your identity. This was Gideon hiding in a threshing floor. And an angel appeared to him and said to him, Oh Gideon, thou mighty man of valor. He couldn't even believe himself. There are seasons of your life you get to that make it look like God is nowhere to be found. Are we together? You begin to search and wonder, What's happening? Why am I in this kind of condition? Have I done something wrong? Why is God treating me like this? discouragement can make you lose your identity a man of God can be so discouraged to a point even when a sick person come and say I am not feeling fine he feels the anointing is no longer there because he feels if it's there why am I going through all this discouragement can make you lose your identity number five Elijah first king 19 and verse 4 discouragement makes you sit down retire or resign discouragement make you to sit down to retire or resign Say, I'm not doing it again. I'm tired of this God's work. How many years? Please never forget in your service with God that He works with times and seasons. Ecclesiastes 3 and verse 1. He said, To everything under the heaven, there is a time and there is what? A season. He's the God of peace, but He must teach you that He's also the God of patience. We have taught people Hebrews 6 and verse 12. The Bible says, Follow those who through faith. That's where we stopped. But we forgot and patience obtained the promise are we together the same Elijah that just finished calling down fire because of discouragement he forgot that he could call down fire how comes you you killed 500 prophets of Baals you called down fire that could convince a complete city you won a city at a visit and one woman threatened you and you got so discouraged that you said Lord take my life I want to die I'm the only one that is serving you. Are we following? Discouragement can make you even lose the things you can do. Have you not asked yourself, why didn't he call the same fire on Jezebel? He forgot because of discouragement. Are we following? Number six, David. Psalm 55 verse 6 to 14. When he was being pursued by his son and he discovered that his acquaintance, Ahitophel, had made a collaboration with his son. David said, I wish I can be like a bird and fly far away to a place no one can see me. You know that's how some of you are. When you are discouraged, you, you want everybody to get away from you. Even those that come to render help to you, you feel they are against you. You fight everything good around you because you are discouraged. You are bleeding internally. You just want to be alone. Have you not heard that? You just want to isolate from people. You don't want anybody around you. That was what David was saying. I wish I can be like a bird and fly away. Let me just go where I will find succor. No more troubles. That's the symptom of a discouraged man or woman. They get away from people. They want to have their space. They want to be alone. Hear me. Isolation makes you slow and late. Isolation only creates an avenue for the devil to discuss with you like he did with Eve. And begin to give you suggestion that will make you lose your position. Isolation. No one is there to correct you. No one is there to tame you. The devil feeds you with information. See it like this now. Are you not seeing that this is what they meant? Don't you think if this person said it like this? Because there is no one to speak a voice of strength to your spirit. Are we getting blessed tonight? First Samuel 30 and verse 4 to 5 to 8, still same scripture. The Bible says one time David took some of his men, they went to fight the battle for God. And while they were 
back, they discovered that their wives were taken away, their children were taken away, and their houses were burnt. That's how it is. Sometimes you can look at your leader and say, but I stood with you. I fought battles with you. I was in prayer meetings. How come this will happen to me? The Bible said the same men he raised took stones to want to stone him. The tears of kings. Great men also cried. They took stone to stone their hero. A man they once praised. Forgetting that what they were going through, he was going through worse. Even his own wives were taken. But they didn't see that. The Bible says, but he had to encourage himself. He had to what? Encourage himself. Are we following? The signs of greatness is not that you have not fallen or failed, but that you rise up every time you fall. I've made terrible mistakes of life. I have fallen many times. I've failed many times. But the secret of my consistency in God is that every time I fall, I rise. Because the Bible says that though the righteous may fall seven times, they will surely, the word surely means of certainty, they will rise again. That's why you cannot conclude the end of any man because of what they are going through. You don't know tomorrow. Tell your neighbor you don't know tomorrow. You can't conclude any man because of their present circumstances or situation. You don't know tomorrow. Whoever believed that Sarah will be with a child at 75. Whoever believed that Abraham will truly become the father of nations at such an age. Whoever believed that Zacharias will have his own son. If God gives you a word, die with it. If a prophetic word is hanging on your life, die with it. Why? Numbers 23 and verse 19. God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent of his word. If he says it, he will do it. God is not a man. Train the Holy Ghost one minute. My hope is built on nothing else than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest friend, but only on Jesus' name, on Christ the solely rock I stand. All oh, over the ground is seeking sound. All oh, over the ground is seeking sound. Rejection is deadly. Rejection is worse than cancer. Especially when it comes from people that once believed in you. When they decide to take stones. It might not be physical stones, but stones of words, stones of action to pull you down because they came back with you from a battle. They look at their lives and they are asking themselves, did I follow the wrong man? Did I waste my time? David cried like a baby. The Bible says he cried. Like that. That's what makes kings cry. When the people who once called you father now call you devil, it can make them bleed. Rejection is a killer. Be courageous. Tell your neighbor, be courageous. What brings discouragement? Number one, deferred hope. Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 12. The Bible says, When desire cometh through, it is like a tree of life. But hope deferred gets the heart sick, mental health challenge, stress, clinical depression. Most of the times it's due to deferred hope. You have trusted God long enough to the calculation of your timing where you feel he should have intervened and he has not done that. Hope deferred. The Bible tells us that it can make the heart sick. Even bodily health can be affected. Not because you slept under mosquito, but because of what? Deferred hope. Followed you and was trusting that after two years their life will change. It didn't change. I like the way my son testified. He said it didn't change overnight, but it changed over time. God can be slow, but he's sure. That's why I'm still standing. He can be slow, but he's sure. 
I know whom I've believed. I am fully persuaded. We have not followed after cunningly devised fables of this word of God we have handled. We have preached this word of life. We have tested with your hands that these words are true. Are we getting blessed tonight? Deferred hope can make the heart sick. You must understand patience and timing if you want to walk a lasting God. Some things will happen at God's timing. Some of you we are praying for, for causes to break now. They didn't happen when you were young. Yet they said it 100 years ago. They happened at a particular time. That's how the blessing too is. It has its timing of manifestation. Please understand that in God. God will not run by your own time or calendar. He walks by his own time. It doesn't matter the amount of prayer you will pray. When it's not his time, nothing will happen. Are we following? Number two. What brings discouragement? Unexplainable battle and challenges. Unexplainable battle and challenges. Psalm chapter 55 from verse 6 to 14. You are moving from one family battle. You are entering into another. You move from one again. You are saying, thank God you have done it. And then another come up. You move from that one again. You say, thank God for this. Come up. It can push you to a point. You turn your back at what you once believed. You turn your back at the basis of scriptures. You turn your back at your creator. David had his own biological son. Pursued him out of his palace as king. Chased him out of his throne. What's different from what David is doing? If you as a son will tell somebody else that he's not anointed. You have chased me out of my throne. The Bible said that he slept with his father's wife in the market square open unexplainable battle David was down are we together number three never forget that in every battle there is a blessing focus on the blessing and not the battle number three listening to wrong voices discouragement is contagious if you stay with discouraged people you will get discouraged Psalm chapter Proverbs 26 Verse 20 and 22, the Bible says that the words of a tabera, they go as wounds into the innermost belly. The words of a tail bearer. Discouragement is what contagious. That's why if you are discouraged, don't hang around discouraged people. Look for people who are lively. People who are seeing meaning for life. Who wants to do something tomorrow. See, if you are a young man and you are wishing to die, something is wrong with you. Do you know how old is Tunubu? Do you know how old is Atiko Abubakar? Even your obedience. Do you know how old is he? At 23, he's alive as tired me. You, when those men still have ambitions, tell your neighbor, wake up. Don't trick him out. Don't give in. That's what makes you a man. That you stand tall in the face of trials and temptation. And so I will wait for the days of my appointed time till my change will come. Job 14 and verse 14. Job 14 and verse 7, there is hope for a tree even when it is cut to the ground when is my time at the scent of water, the intervention of the almighty I will brood up again are we getting blessed tonight Listen, listening to wrong voices number 4, weariness seasons where nothing makes sense where you put so much effort and get little result can get you discouraged, number 5 disappointment from God from people, from family, and even the church. See, I've been serving God for five years. I've been looking for the blessings of the fruit of the womb. It didn't come. I change. There's a Baba in the village that does it very fast. They call him Baba Sharp Sharp. So sure God is, is, is God of go slow. Discouragement. Discouragement. A talus weapon of the devil. And number six, when others seems to get ahead of you in life. Genesis 37, 3 to 8. The brothers of Joseph became bitter because they, Joseph was preferred. They saw him being honored more by their father. They at one time even told him, you mean we will serve you in life? It can get you discouraged. You can hate your friend because they are succeeding than you. Yes. It can get you discouraged. Understand that no man is your measurement for success. That others are progressing does not mean you are failing. They are not your measurement or standard for success. Every man has his path. Every man has his timing. Oh, David went to the palace, right? Joseph also went to the palace. But David was running from one place to another from a king. Joseph was kept in prison. Different path, 
the same result. Are we together? How to attack the arrows of discouragement? Quickly. Number one. Learn to recount the past faithfulness of God. Psalm 77 verse 1 to 20. As I round up. How do you deal with discouragement? Learn to recount the past faithfulness of God. You are here complaining about your academies. You got 1F, you got 2F. Please look at how you got admission. How you thought that your name will not come out and it came out. That's how we draw strength to Psalm 44 verse 1 to 3. The Bible says that Israel was one time discouraged. And then they made this statement. We have heard. Our fathers told us. How that they just mightiest things in their days. How does drive us the hidden from the land? They got not the land by their strength. Neither did their own right hand save them. But because you had lifted up the light of your countenance upon them and had favor on them. Verse 4. But now, O oh God, thou art my God, command deliverance for us. If you are the same God of yesterday, today, and forever. You that did it for me, you will do it again. How can I be discouraged because of I'm hearing people are jobless, are jobless, and jobless? No! The way you brought my admission, the way you saw me through, that's how I will not struggle to get a job. You are sound. You have knowledge. Are we following? You have knowledge. That's what I'm teaching you. Anything still in a book is called information. Knowledge is when it has entered the head of a man. Understanding is when the man has comprehended it. Wisdom is when the man knows how to apply it. Then what gives him result is action. Once it is still in a book, in a paper, it is called what? Information. Once I put it inside of you, I have given you what? Knowledge. Then when you comprehend what I said, you have understanding. When you know how to apply it in the fixings of life, you have wisdom. When you take steps, that's the result. Are we following tonight? That's why I'm feeding you with this word so that you can survive. Learn to what? Recount the past faithfulness of God. Where you trusted God for 500 naira, 5,000. And you were not expecting it, but it showed up. Anytime you are stranded and the devil wants to bring this, God, remind him and say, but God, are you not the same God that did that? Read the book of Psalms. That's how David prayed. He said, I, I recall back the times of old. How you did this and you did that. How you came through for me. How you came through for my family. How you showed up. I, I wrote that exam thinking I will see a C. But I saw an A. Are you not God again? Baba God, not be you again. That's the secret of my life. I remind him of his past faithfulness. Then strength begins to well up again. I begin to invoke that same ability that wrought that miracle before. Suddenly, help begin to come again. Don't wallow in pain and discouragement. Just remind yourself of his past faithfulness. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. Number two, stay around and encourage us. Stay around and encourage us. And be an encourager. Acts chapter 4 verse 36. The apostles had one man called Barabbas. Whose assignment was to encourage their hands. They say, man of God, don't worry to be fine. Everything we are here for you. The, the Bible says they nicknamed him Barnabas. Meaning what? Son of consolation. They nicknamed him that way. Proverbs 27 and verse 17. The Bible says, I am sharpened, I am so a friend, sharpened the countenance of his friend. Wait one minute. What the Bible means there, the word sharpened there is a Greek word that simply means communication. Let me read it in the original Greek. The Bible is saying that I am sharpened, I am so a man, sharpened and improve that, that, that state of mind of his friend through communication, conversation. Have people that when they talk to you, life come again. You are lifted again. That's my strength. When I'm down, I run to my father as I say, I'm down. I feel like giving up. I feel like dying. Then they say, look at all these things we have accomplished. Where you are, we are once there. When we got here, you too will get there. Pick it up and go again. Then I come back with strength again. Are we together? 
Stay around what? Encourage. See, the worst thing you will do to yourself in a season of discouragement is to isolate yourself. The devil will give you suggestion. He will play around your mind. When you begin to manifest this, you will not believe yourself. That's how he works. He throws you away from people and then begin to feed you with information you cannot. That's what the Bible says in Proverbs 4.23 that you should guard your heart with all diligence, with hard work for out of it flows the issues of life. You can even begin to suspect your friend. The way he has been behaving, the way he was behaving, that thing he said to me that day, this one, he did, the devil will be playing with your mind. He will be playing with your mind. Are we together? Number four. Number three. Avoid tape bearers. Those who carry words of discouragement. Say, Kai is noisy. Eh? We'll just be serving God, serving God for nothing. Run away from them. Are we together? The Bible speaking in Romans chapter 16, verse 17. The Bible says, Mark those. Mark them. Mark that is put your attention to search them who causes offense and divisions are, are, are among you. And what did he say you should do? Avoid them. My com the commandment of scripture is to love everybody, but not everybody should be my friend. Love is a command, friendship is choice. He said, Mark them, mark them who cause divisions and offense among you. They go to tell them, Do you know what Ogidi said about you? If you heard it, hey, you will not come to that church again. Then Bro Ogidi too, no, they go again. The Bible says, mark them and avoid them. Those whose statements weaken your drive for life, weaken your seal, weaken your passion, mark them and what? Avoid them. When they bring, say, hey, stop there. I am okay the way I am. Words are powerful. <laughs> what did I say again? Words are powerful. You must be very righteously strict when it comes to sifting the kind of words you hear. Words are powerful. Proverbs 26 and verse 22. Number four, get more intimate with the Holy Spirit. The Bible calls him in John chapter 14. The Bible says he's our word comforter. So there is a system in God via the agency of the Holy Ghost to comfort you in times you are down. In times you are down. Nobody told you that the road will be easy. I'm telling you tonight. The Bible is speaking in Deuteronomy. He said the land which thou goest, the promised land that drinketh water from the heaven, it says the land of hills and valleys high moments and low moments still inside the promised land it's a land of hills and valleys so when you see the valley time don't think you are no longer in the promised land it's part of the process of life what did I say again? it's part of the process of life you just trust this God, keep loving him and following him are we together? love him number Number, number four, okay, I said stay, get intimate with the Holy Spirit, Romans 15 and verse 15. The Bible says, and the God of encouragement. God is the God of what? Encouragement. And number six, receive the word of your man of God. That the season you need to covet his blessings more. Those words are like strength. Receive the word. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 10 and verse 41, that if you receive a prophet, not because he was, that he is a prophet, you have no cause, lose your reward. Not if you receive him because you like him. Because I like his complexion. The way he talks, the way he speaks, his gestulation and gesture. No, that you receive him in the name of what? A prophet. And honor him as such. The Bible says you will not lose your reward. Second Chronicles 20 verse 20. He said, yeah, oh you Israel. This is what God is saying today. Believe the Lord thy God and you shall be established. Believe his prophets and you shall prosper. In those seasons, you need their words. They say, stand strong. That words are not normal words. They are words filled with spiritual life. As they enter into you, they strengthen life in the inside of you. I'm getting blessed tonight. Two more points and we are done. Number seven, encourage yourself in the Lord. First Samuel 30. The Bible says when David cried, because the people who once believed in him, said ah we pick stone let's kill him do you know there are people like that who once love you but now they will prefer something bad happen to you they prefer you are dead you are confused the problem is because they followed you to battle and they found out that they lost so many things they are discouraged but the bible says that david what encouraged himself in the lord 
strengthen himself. In those times, you just find songs, inspiration system around you. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh my soul. I'm teaching you my secret. Worship his holy name. Sing like never before. Oh my soul. Worship his holy name. Number eight, see the good in every disappointment. See the good in every disappointment. Genesis chapter 45 verse 5 to 7 when the brothers of Joseph came to him instead of him to be sorrowful and sad, he said what you meant for evil the Lord what the enemy meant for evil he has torn it around he has torn it around what the enemy meant for evil he has torn it around for my good he said God sent me ahead of you to preserve you Listen, some of the people you are angry because of their actions towards you, if it never happened, you won't get into destiny. They were part of your process. Appreciate them for it. It was when Lot left Abraham that God began to speak to him. I say, watch as fast as your eyes can see. That's why most of the times when God found out that he's no longer having your attention, he will shake you away from people. He will cause those who truly love you to get away from you. Because it needs your attention. Are we following? He will get away from you. He will cause a quarrel everywhere. People will begin to run away from you. When they are gone, he says, Now I need you, your attention. Then he begins to give you blueprints and strategies and say, Go like this now. You never had my time before. Are we learning anything tonight? So that relationship that you thought you will marry, he will scatter it and say, Please, I need your time now. Now begins to align them. Because he knows if he didn't touch you, your head will not correct. Are we follow? See the good in every situation. Don't take it all on people who disappointed you, who brought you discouragement. You face rejection, you face pain, you face troubles of life. Don't take it on them. See life from a different perspective. That there is a gain in every pain. I will focus on the gain and not the pain. Are we following? The Bible tells us about Jesus. He wasn't looking at those who crucified him. No, the Bible says, who for the joy that was set ahead of him. He left what they were saying, what they were shouting, crucify him. He was looking at the joy set ahead of him. It made him to endure the cross. Finally tonight, number nine, get away from things and people that intimidate you instead of challenging you. You have friends whose assignment is to use their WhatsApp status to frustrate your destiny, block them. Are we together? You know, some people, don't, they don't share testimony. They show annoyance. They make it look like... <laughs> Lift up your hands everywhere. Just wave to him. Are you blessed tonight? Are you blessed already? Are you blessed already? Tell your neighbor, I am full of strength. I am full of life. No room for discouragement. I am serving the Lord fervently. I am waxing stronger day in the hour. No room for discouragement. I might be down now, but I will not be down forever. You might laugh at me now, but you will not laugh at me forever. Because the devil can still talk. The devil can still talk. Father, Dr. Paul Elijah said, he said, do not despise any man because they don't write who will be great tomorrow on the forehead. No. Life can give you the shocker of your life. But you live one day to congratulate those you have concluded. Are we together? Be careful. A problem in life is short-sightedness. The ability to see greatness in a small, in a small, small state. What did the wise men, that's why they were called wise men. Not because they were very intelligent, scientifically wise, but how they could recognize a king that infancy. To the extent they could render, you know what God was in those days? They could discern a king at the infancy. Be careful who you laugh at today. Be careful who you mock at today. 
Because most of the times, this God I know from little experiences of life and from fathers is that most of the times He will put the help you need in the hands of those you don't want it from. Be careful. And your pride will kill you. You will die there because you don't want to get that help from your hand. Be careful who you laugh at today. Tell your neighbor the table still turns. Don't judge any man by their present circumstances or the pain they are going through in life. Life if I faces men and sizes. There is time for everything. Listen and listen carefully. It is the waiting period that is long. The lifting is instant. When God is ready for your life, everything begins to happen spontaneously. It's the waiting. That's why when you look at the waiting season of a man and conclude him there, life will shock you. It doesn't take God anything. If he can make food supply plenteous in Samaria within 24 hours, what is your life? Is your life up to the old of Samaria to feed a complete country in 24 hours? What is your life? Everywhere you have been discouraged by the reason of this sermon tonight, I am imparting to you strength. I am signing strength into your spirit being. I command every arrow of discouragement to get out of you. In the name of Jesus, receive the impactation of strength. The Bible says in Isaiah, I think chapter 11, the Bible says, and the spirit of the Lord, the spirit of wisdom and counsel, and the spirit of might. May that spirit of might rest upon you tonight. That people will see what you are going through and they will be wondering how you survived it. I'll be alive to tell the story of how I overcome goodness and mercy give me that song choir Whatever challenges you are going through, whatever pain or discomfort you are going through, you will not die in the inside of it. You will come out strong and become a testimony to your generation. You will come out strong and become a testament of what God can do with an ordinary man. In the name of Jesus, that challenge will not kill you. That challenge will not mar you. That challenge will not end your life. In the name of Jesus. For every one person that walked out of your life and you look like you have lost the whole world, may God bring at least 7,000 people that will do you good. May God send 7,000 people to show you mercy. In the name of Jesus. For every one person that walked out of your life, and said let's see how far you go without me when they are not God when they are not God prophesy in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth God will send you quality people God will send you people that will connect you to destiny people that will lift up your hands in life people that will connect you to your throne in life in the name of Jesus Pray in the Holy Ghost. Talk to God whatever you want Him to do for you. What are the reasons you came tonight? Say it to Him. Let every body be lifted up. Let every sick body be healed. Everything you will see under the sound of my voice tonight, you will receive answers from above. Challenge my God. Abba bebe belele ke dodo dobo shala la la gadash parada soba la la kude belele ke dohomni abba bebe 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 ke yakaka. May God answer your prayers. May God grant the desires of your heart. I prophesy this week. 
receive strange favors. I bring men under divine compulsion and pressure to go all the way for your lifting, to go all the way for your settlement, to go all the way for your blessings. Those who will bless you this week, I trouble their sleep. Till they bless you, they will not have rest. In the name of Jesus, God will bring you out of every obscure darkness. He will bring you out of every financial shame. In the name of Jesus, every sickness, every challenge, every battle that have harassed your destiny, harassed your family, harassed your life, they be roasted by fire. 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 Every condition, be it health condition, financial problem, family battles that have harassed your destiny, brought you shame and reproach. I declare and I declare in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the living God, they be roasted by fire in the name of Jesus. Angels are released on assignment for your lifting. This week, enjoy angelic interventions. Enjoy angelic interventions. People will bless you financially, you don't even know. They will call and say, I am under compulsion to show you this favor. I am under compulsion to do you good. In the name of Jesus. And your song this week will be, See what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. What we're waiting for has come to pass. See what the Lord has done. Two more times and we are done tonight. See what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. What we're waiting for has come to pass. For the last time, hold your neighbor, sing that song, lift up your hand. See what the Lord has done. That will be your testimony. That will be the testimony of your family. In your business, in your health, in your finance, in your academies, your career, your job, you will testify. May that be a reality for you in Jesus' name. Listen to me. Go home, sit under the sermon, look at your note again. Every arrows of discouragement that followed you here, go back. The way you will talk, even your roommates will be marveled. You look at them and say, This is the least you will know about me. Relax. The devil can't beat me down. Refuse to give up. Refuse to chicken out. There is hope for a tree. Once you are alive, there is what? Hope. You can't conclude a man that still breathes. What did I say again? You can't conclude a man that still breathes. When there is God, everyone that has concluded you, everyone that has concluded your family and felt this is the highest you can go. Your uncles and aunties call you, what is your result? You say two, two. Third class, they say that he's finished. They just abandoned you. I declare, I declare, God will cause them to congratulate you. God will do with your life what will cause men to congratulate you. He will write your life into a story to be read by generations. In the name of Jesus. Everyone that have sized you and felt there are heights you can never get to in life. Maybe by what they know about your family, the highest your family is connected, whatever it might be. They've sized you and feel there are doors you can never enter through in life. Aleko shatabakan zobekatahadash. Let me talk to the God in heaven for you. Paraso seke didi didi didi. Ababe baba baba tasana yaga. God is bringing you out of that shame. He's bringing your family out of that shame. In the name of Jesus. Within the next seven days, for you, for your family, God will connect you to somebody great and powerful. You will receive a phone call of good news. You receive a text message of good news. In the name of Jesus, somebody will call you and say, I want to help you. I am taking interest in you. I just feel led to support you. I just feel led to stand by you. It will happen for you. It will happen for you. In the name of Jesus. And for all those falling online across the nations of the world, 
I prophesy under the sound of my voice tonight. Within the next seven days, anyone that is discouraged, may God do in your life what will impact you with strength. That news you have not heard for long, that kind of favor you have never enjoyed before, mark my words under God. Within seven days, I stand before the God of my call in the capacity of my office. God of my covenant, may he do for you what will cause you to forget your pain. May he do for you what will cause you to forget your sorrows. Listen, listen. What you need is one joy. Not many joys, just one. One miracle. One miracle. One joy. Are you saying amen? One joy. One miracle. One financial alert. One abundance. One good news. In the name of Jesus. Celebrating, wave your hands and worship God tonight. Wave your hands and say, We are grateful. This is your first time worshiping with us. Can you pick your bags? And whatever you came to the service, we quickly come to the front. Let me celebrate you. This is your first time. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Can you do that? The Lord bless and keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you. The Lord be gracious to you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you. The Lord grant you his peace and make you great. You will not be small. Your greatness will know no bound. I declare and I declare, everyone that has mocked you, God will give you a joy that will cause them to call you in shame and say, I celebrate with you. In the name of Jesus. Everyone that has concluded you will congratulate you. In the name of Jesus. Enter into your season of celebration. God said to me to say to you, as we step into a new month of December, there will not be a day in December that you don't have a testimony to share. You didn't hear what I say. your creator said I should say to you. Your God said I should tell you that as we step into the month of December, there will not be a passing day that you will not see a token of his goodness. There will not be a passing day that you will not see a token of his miracles. In the name of Jesus, are you ready for it? Are you ready for it? May it happen for you. 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 In the name.